This is a film about the Pacific banana slug and the black slug or licorice slug. They are part of the class Gastropoda, which is Greek for gastro, stomach. This is the largest group of mollusks. Latin, mollusk, soft shell fish. They are among the most successful and diverse animal groups in terrestrial ecosystems. They are snails that have shells or such as slugs which do not have shells. They come from marine habitats and are adapted to live in fresh water or land environment. This is the only group of mollusks that live on land. They have a soft body with a soft muscular foot and a covering over the front called a mantle. The foot functions to enable the movement. The mantle functions in respiration, sensory reception and waste disposal. In other mollusks, the mantle can be the external shell. The space under the mantle is called the mantle cavity and in slugs houses the respiratory lung. Fresh water and land snails and slugs have a lung. And the interesting thing is that what gastropods share with other mollusks is the radula, a rasping tongue-like structure which they use to scrape up food. Banana slugs are often yellow as well as white, brown with black. The Pacific banana slug is the second largest slug in the world, measuring up to 25 centimeters or 10 inches. The largest slug is Limax cineroniger of Europe, which can go to 30 centimeters. Slugs have two pairs of tentacles to sense movement. The upper pair are the eye stalks that detect light and movement. The lower pair are used to detect chemicals and smells. They can retract their tentacles and extend them. Here you see a slug turning upright after having been laid on his back. He has no trouble righting himself. The single lung opening can be closed or open to allow gas exchange. Banana slugs excrete a thick mucus coating around their bodies. The slime contains pheromones to attract a mate. Slugs are hermaphrodites and reproduce by exchanging sperm with a mate. They produce up to 75 translucent eggs which are laid under leaves or in a log. Slugs are frequently maligned because of the damage they do to gardens and flower beds. However, these gentle creatures are vital to the ecological system as they clean up decaying matter. First Nations people on the West Coast traditionally use the antiseptic slime from the slugs to cover and heal cuts and they also coated the mouths of children to cure thrush. They treated these creatures with great respect and even returned the slug carefully to where it was found. Here is a black licorice slug and you can see a good view of its foot which allows it to move. Here is another beautiful coloring that this licorice slug comes in. There is very little known about the biology of slugs, but they have long been important in human societies.